Hey there, Scott the Pie Guy, back for another pie. This will be pie number four in our in my Pie of the Month challenge. Today we are doing something a little bit special. We're doing a peach pie with a special ingredient called bourbon. It's going to be fun. If you're uh, a frequent visitor, welcome back. If you're new, I'm happy you found this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, we're ready to get started here. Got some things pre-measured. Got my cutting board a little bit, which I'm going to roll out on. A little bit of flour on that, so we're ready to go. First thing we have is a about two, or not about, two and a half cups of flour. And we're going to mix that with our dry ingredients. We have two teaspoons of sugar. We're just going to put right in there with the dry ingredients. Then we also have a teaspoon of salt that we're going to put in there. I'm going to stir that up a little bit. Okay, we got that mixed in a little bit. Then we have, uh, this is the important part, a cup of butter all cubed up. It is fresh out of the freezer, so it wasn't in there very long, maybe 10 minutes, something like that, just to make sure it's hard because you don't want the butter to squish all over the place. And all we're going to do, it's a little bit stickier than I thought, get all that out. Then we're going to try something new. Whoops, get rid of the fork, don't need that. And I'm going to, first time ever, use a uh, pastry cutter and get the, the butter all blended in with the sugar. So we'll get that going. Okay, we'll just blend this up a little bit. Hang on one second here. Okay, you probably saw we had a little issue here. Bowl's a little bit too small for what we're trying to do. So I had to run and get a bigger bowl. And now we're just going to put that in there. Dump this into a little bit bigger bowl. So, lesson learned. Make sure you have a big enough bowl. There we go. Now we're ready to get started again. Okay, bigger bowl, and now we'll just cut this stuff in. Sorry, it might be a little bit hard for you guys to see this because of the height of the bowl, but I'll try to tip it up. And essentially, we're just trying to work the butter all the way through the flour. Okay, we got it all blended up. We got some decent sized chunks in there, but most of it is smaller. And that's kind of what we're looking for. We want to evenly distribute it, as or so I've been told. Next step is we're going to add the water. And I'm going to do this a couple tablespoons at a time and mix it in with the fork to get it all stirred up. Make the mistake on overwatering or 
over watering, putting too much water in. So, but I think it actually looks pretty good. So we got the cutting board where I'm going to roll this out. Oops, first thing we have to do, I guess, is we have to ball it all up. Get this water out of here. Mm, back to the small bowl. A little bit easier for me to work in. So now you can see really what it looks like. It's it's fairly sticky, but not overly sticky. Get it shaped a little bit. Grab myself a knife to cut it in half with. Got to have the top of the pie and the bottom of the pie. Cut this one right in half. Because actually, I kept saying we're going to roll it, but we're not. Because we just need to shape this into two discs that we're going to put in the refrigerator for a while. Okay, we got our two discs formed. Next thing we're going to do, wrap this up in a little bit of plastic wrap here. Slide this off to the side. Get this thing sealed all nice and tight. There's one. And there's number two. So we throw these in the refrigerator for about two hours just to chill. So we're working with some nice cold pie dough. Go run a few errands while it does that. And then we'll be back and start rolling these out and make the pie. We're back. The pie uh, crust is chilled for a couple hours in the refrigerator. Now we're ready to roll it out. Have the peaches ready. They look gorgeous, if you ask me. Got the pie pan, a little butter for the pie pan. But first step is we're going to roll out the uh, pie crust. I'm going to start just rolling out. Everything I've read or seen on the internet says roll it away from you. So that's what we got going. Got it mostly rolled out. Next thing I like to do is just double check we're pretty good. It looks like we'll be pretty good going up the sides on that. So I think we're going to stay with it. You probably noticed I didn't do a very good job of rolling away. I'm going to spread it out a little bit more. And then we'll try to do this. I'm going to butter the bottom of the pan just to hopefully give it a little bit of slickness on it, make it hopefully a little bit easier to take out. Just the bottom is all I'm doing, just a little bit there. And now, I know a lot of people put it on the rolling pin, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to drag it. See? Not too bad there. We did it. Next up, we just push this down into the pan a little bit. Make a slight adjustment there. Fix up some of these edges. Press it in the corner a little bit, all around, across the bottom. Now we're ready for the fun part. Here's the fun part, putting in the peaches. Nice, nice color on these things. I'm going to circle. The first thing I'm going to do is just make a little circle with these on the outside. Then we're pretty much going to dump it in. But I want in the corners as much as I can to have like a solid peach slice. I'll show that to you when we get it in what, what I'm talking about there. 
Got the first layer of peaches down in a nice pattern. Then it doesn't matter. Got a few crevices in there. I don't know if you can see over there. But we got all the filling. We'll talk about that in a second. But now we're just going to top this off. Loosey goosey. And there we go. That's the pan. Probably could have stood a little more peaches, but that's okay. And now we're ready to move on to the next step of this. Ready for the next step. We have the peaches in the pan, but there's some gaps in there. So the, the basic idea is we're going to make a sauce. About a cup and a half of peaches that are diced up. The bourbon, two ounces, to add a little bit of depth, warmth, flavor to it. Half a cup of sugar and three tablespoons of corn starch. We're going to cook this down into a sauce, then let it cool just a little bit, pour it over, and see where we go. So we'll start cooking. I'm going to cook this down fairly low heat. It's cooking up fairly well. We got uh, some some cooking down of it, but I'm actually going to add the bourbon now. So it's added a little bit earlier than I thought it would be, and then I'll probably turn the heat up. So there's the two ounces of bourbon, and I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Okay, so you can see the peaches are starting to break down a little bit. I turned the heat down just a touch too. I'm going to let it cook a little more, and then I'm going to add the sugar, get that all dissolved in the mixture. And then towards the very end, we'll add the cornstarch. Okay, it's cooking down fairly well. The bourbon, play, the bourbon flavor should stay in there, but now I'm going to add the sugar. Get that all put in there. Again, that's half a cup. Stir it around a little bit, get all the peaches coated. Okay, we got a nice little boil on it, not too much. Now we're going to add the cornstarch, spread it around a little bit. Make sure it gets back to a boil. Okay, we got it. Okay, we got it all cooked up nice. It's got a nice little thickness to it. It'll thicken some more in the uh, in the oven while it cooks and spreads around. So that's the next step. Now it's back to putting this in the pie after it cools just a little bit. Ready to add our concoction. You can see it's starting to thicken. So we're just going to pour it kind of gingerly over the peaches, I'm going to even do it like this, I'm trying to fill in some of the gaps. It should, the peaches themselves should, but uh, break down a little bit as well. But this is where all the bourbon flavor is. So you need to make sure we get a little bit of bourbon across everything. Again, probably in hindsight, could have used a little bit more peaches, maybe even made a little bit more of the sauce. But I think we'll be okay. big glop there. I'm going to get all this. Set that down. Spread it out a little bit. I'm going to hold it up so you can see what we got before we move on to the top crust. Looks like we need a little bit in this corner right there if I can get that. I got a little bit in there. bit. This spot seems a little short too. There we go. Get that in there. Okay, there we have it. It's ready to be topped. And 
and uh, we're ready to go. We're ready for the top crust now. Pie's sitting up well. Got the second crust out of the refrigerator, and we'll unroll. We'll roll it out a little bit and go from there. We'll try to be better this time and go away from me. Spin this more. Getting better at all of this. Don't know what you thought, but I thought my technique was a little bit better this time. Pushing away. We're good. Size looks about right to cover the top of the pan, or the top of the pie. But before we do, you got to have a pretty pie. So we're going to do a little bit of creative decoration. Revisit the cookie cutters. Got the palm tree. I'm not going to put it in the middle because I got something else I want to do uh, at the top side. But I am just going to cut out a little bit below halfway. Just a single palm tree. This will help the pie vent some steam away. Pull that out. So we got the nice little palm tree there. Put that off to the side. And now we're ready to slide it over to the top of the pie. Just like that. Not too bad. Got my little palm tree in there. Hope you can see that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, need a knife, is I'm going to try and do like, I guess, sun rays on it to vent the other part of the pie. So we're just going to make some little slits on top of it. Do one kind of right above it, two on either side coming into the palm tree. Spread that apart a little bit, actually, is what I'm looking to do, just so it's a little bit more pronounced than just slits in there. There we go. Got that. So it's a nice little pretty decoration going on. Next step, we're going to cut off these extra edges. Slice these off a little bit. Now we need to get the edges sealed. So I'm going to try something here. I'm going to actually try to do like a half braid type thing. So it's just kind of folding over itself. See if we can get that to work. It's not too bad. I think we'll keep going with this. Well, that effort failed. So we're going to go back to old fashioned. We're just going to pinch this together around the edges. Yes, I need more practice on that, but now we're just going to pinch it together around like that. You'll still get a few ridges things going on. Not doing too well on this either. Guess I need more practice on that. Fold it under. Yeah, you got really bad. Okay, we made it all the way around. Spread it out a little bit. Pat that down. Okay, we got it all pretty well sealed, I think. Overall, looks pretty good, looking sharp. Next thing we got is an egg wash. This will help it brown. I'm going to spread it thin over the whole thing. 
Got the egg wash on there. And last little bit, going back to the sugar crystals, sprinkle just a little bit of those on there. Give it a little bit of sweetness on top, a little bit of dimension, a little bit more than I wanted there. Get some around the edge. And that's it. Now we are ready. There's the finished product. Put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. It's for at 400 degrees. Then we'll check on it and see where we go. All the recipes I looked at, they all started at 400 for 30 minutes or so. And then they varied a little bit, so we'll make a decision at that point, but ready to pop it in the oven. That's it. We're ready. Our first peak. See how we did. Whoops. Twisted. The outside crust is brown enough well. Let me get my other one here. Outside crust is browning up really well. The juices are doing well in there. Hopefully they thicken, but it looks good. So the next step is we're going to cook it an additional 30 minutes, but we're going to drop the temperature down to 350, and then we'll see how we did. This is the hard part, waiting for this thing to cook. Still got a couple minutes, but... Uh, I've only peaked once. I ended up putting some foil around the outer edges of the crust just so they didn't brown too much. But we're close. We're really, really close. And now it's showtime. See how this thing did. It is looking really good. Not quite brown where I would like it. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be quick stage. I'm going to just simply... Well, actually, I'm just going to leave it sit in here for about another five minutes. When I checked the uh, some of the recipes, they had anywhere from 30 for uh, 25 to 40 minutes on the second stage. So looks like 30 is a little bit short. So we'll go five more minutes, and we'll be right back. I'll admit I peaked once or twice. And it looks really good. So here's the big reveal. Pull off the foil first so you can see the whole pie because it's well worth it. I think we have a winner. The juices are getting thick. It'll just set up. I learned my lesson on the blueberry one to, to wait as long as possible. But uh, I think we have a total total winner. So we'll set this up here. While that's uh, cooling down a little bit, I also have some pie crust palm trees. I had one, figured I'd make the other one. I'm going to set that in there, see how those turn out later. There's cinnamon and sugar, which is uh, what I grew up with from my mom. So we are ready to go, and we will check back in a few hours after it's cooled down and enjoy. we got to go get some ice cream, so we'll be back. Now it's showtime. Looks good. It's set up really, really nicely, I think. But we'll only know one way by cutting into it. So I'm going to save the tree as a whole. Cut into this thing. See what we get out of it. Feels like it cuts well.
feels like we got a little bit that needs to be cut here. There we go. And there it is. That set up really well, if you ask me. Lost a peach in here on the back side. Can't see it. Hang on. Cheat a little bit. Here we go. Looks like it came out pretty good. Now we just need to get the finishing touches and we'll give it a taste. Before I dig in, I just want to hopefully you can see this the way it's set up. I'm very impressed with how clean it came out in the pan. The back of the crust sagged a little bit, so it kind of collapsed on the plate, but uh, that's okay. I got my ice cream, one of my little palm trees that we made, and now comes the true test. Pretty good. Very peachy. Not really getting the bourbon, but just a very subtle hint of it, but... Overall, turned out good. Very happy with how uh, it came out, and uh, I'll keep eating.